Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we dive into the intriguing topics of perpetual motion, a concept that has captured the imagination of scientists and inventors for centuries. Perpetual motion refers to a hypothetical machine that can operate indefinitely without any input of energy. In essence, it defies the laws of thermodynamics, which state that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted from one form to another. While the concept of perpetual motion is enticing, it remains a theoretical impossibility due to the inherent limitations of the physical world. The concept of perpetual motion dates back to ancient times, with philosophers and inventors envisioning machines that could run indefinitely without any external energy source. Throughout history, countless individuals have attempted to create such a device but all have ultimately failed due to the law of thermodynamics. Despite this, the quest for perpetual motion continues to inspire new ideas and innovations in the field of physics. The three kind of perpetual motion device can be categorized based on the laws of thermodynamics they attempt to violate. A perpetual motion machine of the first kind produces work without the input of energy. It thus violates the first law of thermodynamics, the law of conservation of energy. A perpetual motion machine of the second kind is a machine that spontaneously converts thermal energy into mechanical work. When the thermal energy is equivalent to the work done, this does not violate the law of conservation of energy. However, it does violate the second law of thermodynamics in a cyclic process. A perpetual motion machine of the third kind is defined as one that completely eliminates friction and other dissipative forces to maintain motion forever due to its mass inertia. It is impossible to make such a machine as dissipation can never be completely eliminated in a mechanical system, no matter how close a system gets to this ideal. While true perpetual motion remains elusive, there are examples of systems that exhibit near perpetual motion, such as pendulum clocks and certain types of turbines. These devices harness energy from natural forces such as gravity or wind to maintain their motion over a long period of time. In terms of applications, the principle of perpetual motion have inspired advancements in energy efficiency and renewable energy technologies, leading to innovations in areas such as solar power and battery storage. In conclusion, perpetual motion remains a captivating concept that challenges our understanding of physics and engineering. While true perpetual motion may be unattainable, the pursuit of this ideal has fueled innovation and creativity in scientific research. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.